enjoyed an active lifestyle, living as fast as her feet could carry her. I was a runner and went to the gym like four times a week and stuff. That is, until she came down with a bad bout of COVID in 2022. It was shortly after that that I started having problems breathing. She developed COPD, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, a condition that blocks airflow and makes breathing alone feel like a workout. So Kathy turned to the team at Arnett Health to help alleviate some of her symptoms. I was treated with um, you know, medications, inhalers, things like that. But as any pulmonologist will tell you... Sometimes even with those, still people have lots of shortness of breath. Dr. Kalnaninsky asked if she'd be interested in a new, non-invasive option. I said definitely. You know, I'd, I'd love to try something else. The only barrier was finding out if Kathy was the right candidate. That involves some, like a CT scan and um, the lung perfusion and a pulmonary function test done. Once she was approved, the next step was to find a day to have the implant placed, one that would reduce the feeling of pressure, allow her to breathe easier, and improve her ability to exercise, all with the help of a tiny valve. We go in through the mouth into the lungs, and we place these valves on one of the either sides of the lungs, and these valves let air out, but they don't let any air back in. And what happens is these big inflated lungs start to deflate. Within the first day, the difference was clear. And in some ways, so was her breathing. I could breathe and yeah. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like I could go out and run a marathon, but obviously I was, I was better. After spending some time in pulmonary rehab, she can walk, drive, and enjoy the tasks of daily life without the help of an oxygen tank or another person. My husband had to do everything. And that just isn't me. <laughs> and you know, he was great, just great, but to do it for that length of time, and it's nice to be able to do that stuff again. If you are on an inhaler and still short of breath, relief is possible. Ask your doctor about the Zephyr valve and find out if you qualify for the non-invasive treatment. For Arnett Health, I'm Lexi Cutmore.